My favorite room in my house is my bedroom. A home fit for a billionaire. What does the inside of Kylie Jenner's iconic home look like? Kylie is one of the youngest billionaires in Hollywood, and she has an impressive real estate portfolio. She got into the property game when she was still a teenager, and now her homes reflect her lavish tastes. What's next for Kylie? She's about to build her dream house. The 22-year-old just bought a five-acre property near her family for a whopping $15 million. While it might not look like much now, the star plans to build an 18,000-square-foot mega-mansion for her and her family. How long has Kylie been buying, selling, and revamping luxury homes? Well, she got started young. The model, reality star, businesswoman, mom, and real estate mogul got into the property game when she was just 17 years old. It seems that as her net worth grows, her impressive portfolio grows with it. Kylie bought her first home in 2015, and while this house is one that most people dream about, it was just a starter home for the billionaire. At the time, Kylie was just launching her lip kits and starting to make a name for herself as a makeup mogul. She bought the house for $2.6 million. The mansion was a 5,100-square-foot, five-bedroom, Tuscan-style home that sat on a half-acre of land. The home was in the Oaks of Calabasas, home to other members of the Kardashian family and other A-list celebs. You wouldn't think a 17-year-old decorated this home. The villa had an open-plan monochrome living room to die for, complete with a white stone fireplace and French doors that opened up to an amazing swimming pool. Not bad for a teenager. Every home aficionado wants to know about the kitchen. After all, that's where the family congregates. The kitchen in this home was super modern and had a huge sofa. We can totally imagine the whole Kardashian-Jenner clan hanging out in this kitchen. It wouldn't be Kylie's home without a glam room, would it? The home had a custom glam room with illuminated vanity, mirrored walls, and unique drawers for her and her sisters to get glam in. Where do you go next when your starter home is already so lavish? Well, you make a profit. She sold her first home for $3.2 million and moved on to the next. While the Cape Cod home in Calabasas was still on the market, Kylie splurged on not one, not two, but three properties. This time, Kylie had her sights set on the Hidden Hills. Her first purchase was a mini-mansion that she spent $6 million on. She picked up the property in May 2016 and only a few months later in August, decided to buy the property next door. Because who doesn't need more space? The mini-mansion, a 7,000-square-foot Cape Cod-style home, had six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. If that wasn't enough, it came with a wine cellar, pool, theater room, four-car garage, and massive walk-in closet. If there's one thing a Kardashian-Jenner needs, it's a massive closet. The modern home came with all the furnishings, but maintained a classic demeanor, just like Kylie. In the backyard, the pool glistens in the sun with a water feature that screams Hollywood. So why'd she buy the property next door? She scooped up the neighboring property for $4.5 million because her business was growing at a rapid pace, and she wanted to use the 5,200-square-foot property as her office. This house was also complete with a pool. Just in case any pool parties at the main residence hit capacity, she was ready with a backup. Again, the home looks super homey and classic, with a few really unique accents. As we now know, Kylie didn't end up using the home for her business. Well, not for a long time at least, because she sold it for $5.3 million, a pretty nice profit in 2017. One year later, in 2018, her mini mansion was also sold in an off-market deal for $6.7 million. Kylie sure has learned how to flip a home. They say the third time's a charm. Well, it seems like Kylie found a home that she really loved in her third property purchased in 2016. After spending $12 million on a Hidden Hills mansion, she turned her main residence into a pink paradise. Unlike her previous properties, this one felt so Kylie, so custom, and so pink. She was obviously proud of how much it reflected her as well, as she was featured in Architectural Digest. But with this home, I wanted to go to the next level of fun and color and just pretty much an expression. The magazine celebrated the home for being a dazzling home, animated with pop brio and youthful energy. 
Designer Martin Lawrence Boulard told the magazine, When we started this project, she wasn't even old enough to drink legally. This was her first really grown-up house. Kylie worked closely with the designer, making sure that every inch of the home was perfect for her. Kylie has a wardrobe to die for, so it's no surprise that closets and drawers are really important to her. She told the magazine that she had to make sure they were absolutely perfect. The house feels like a daydream. Kylie's white lacquer and acrylic grand piano, gold-leafed ceiling, and vintage furniture were all pieces that spoke to Kylie's personality and aesthetic. She really used the design of the home to express herself. She didn't skimp out when it came to comfort either. The magazine noted her Patagonia shearling, silk and alpaca carpets, snow leopard patterned velvet on the bar stools, and fur bed covers. We know from Keeping Up With The Kardashians that while Kylie is private, she loves to host her friends and family, and it's obvious that this house was made for entertaining. Billard even told Architectural Digest that there's nothing so precious in the house that you can't stand, jump, or dance on it. Kylie took custom to the next level with this home. Even the leather upholstery on the chairs was custom dyed to match colors from Kylie's famous lipstick collection. Halfway through the home reno, Kylie found out she was pregnant with Stormy, which sent the team back to the drawing board to make sure that a nursery and playroom fit for a princess could be incorporated into the decor. One of the best parts of this home is all the amazing art. She has a cheeky series of sculptures from artist Bo Dunn's Size Does Matter series, Andy Warhol dollar sign lithographs, and a dramatic portrait of herself. The home everyone's talking about, though, is her latest purchase, her Holmby Hills Resort Compound. That's right, the star bought a resort compound that comes with seven bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, two guest houses, and a guard house. There's also a chef's kitchen, a formal dining area, a gym, bars, an outdoor projection screen, and everything you could ever dream up in a home. The home was listed for $45 million, but Kylie got a deal and snagged the property for $36 million. You probably recognize the house from Kylie's latest Instagram posts that look like she's on vacation, but nope, she's just at home. The single-story home is more than 15,000 square feet and has its own guardhouse at the front to ensure that the star and her family are safe while at home. The Kardashians are known for their commitment to working out, and that'll be no problem for Kylie, as the home has a home gym, championship-level tennis court, championship-level basketball court, and pool. Too bad the house doesn't also come with a personal trainer. The home is super modern, but also looks like a castle fit for royalty. Every accent and piece of decor looks so carefully chosen to match the aesthetic of the home. With high ceilings, so many places for guests to lounge, and cement walls, this really does feel like the natural next home for Kylie after seeing her previous homes. Kylie has grown so much in such little time, and this house reflects that. She has plenty of room for her family, and this feels like the most mature and most Kylie purchases so far. The pool area is really a spectacle. Compared to her previous pools, this one takes the cake. It's surrounded by lounge space and is beautifully decorated. One might think they were on vacation in a tropical country when hanging out in this backyard. Not only are the pool and living areas immaculate, but the bar is one that you would expect to see at a five-star hotel. This is the perfect home for someone who loves to host and entertain. This house is definitely more glam. The home also feels like it's so open. We can just imagine all the Kardashian kids loving this house. But will Kylie stay in it for long? The billionaire businesswoman just dropped $15 million on a five-acre piece of land so that she can build her own dream house. While it feels like she's already had her dream house five times, dreams can change. The land used to belong to Miley Cyrus, who used it for her animals, and now Kylie plans to build an $18,000 mega mansion there. We guess $15,000 was not quite enough. We wonder if Kylie is planning on growing her family to fill this house. Even if she's not, she has enough family members between her sisters, brothers, and all their children. We know every single square foot will go to good use. The land is near her sister Chloe and mom Chris's homes. Kylie really has earned the title of real estate queen. She joins other Hollywood celebrities who are known for their real estate portfolios like Oprah, Ellen DeGeneres, Patrick Dempsey, and Jennifer Aniston. And she did it all before turning 25. Rumor has it she could be back together with her ex-boyfriend and Stormy's father, Travis Scott. 
If the rumors are true, we just know the two of them would have so much fun designing the home for their family. If the rumors aren't true, we know Kylie will make the best of it, creating the most amazing space for her family. We can't wait to find out what architect, designer, and artist she's working with because they're sure to be top-notch. We wonder if Kylie building her dream home will inspire her sisters to renovate or work on dream homes of their own. Kim is in the midst of a divorce. Courtney is in a hot new relationship with Travis Barker. Chloe has said she's interested in growing her family, and Kendall's relationship with Devin Booker seems to be stronger than ever. All great excuses to work on their homes.